Hello everyone, and how are you doing today? I'm going to talk about something that is next Monday, June 21st. It's National Indigenous Peoples Day. This is a day for all Canadians to recognize and celebrate the unique heritage, diverse cultures, and outstanding contributions of First Nations, Inuit, and Métis peoples. The Canadian Constitution recognizes these three groups as Indigenous peoples. Although these groups share many similarities, they each have their own distinct heritage, language, cultural practices, and spiritual beliefs. In cooperation with Indigenous organizations, the Government of Canada chose June 21st, the summer solstice, as National Indigenous Peoples Day. For generations, many Indigenous peoples and communities have celebrated their culture and heritage on or near this day due to the significance of their summer sol solstice as the longest day of the year. That first part was from a uh, Government of Canada page, and now um, we will do a land acknowledgement. So we acknowledge that St. Paul's is located on Treaty 6 territory, the ancestral and traditional territory of the Cree, Dene, Blackfoot, Salto, Nakoda, Sioux, as well as the Métis. We acknowledge the many First Nations, Métis and Inuit, whose footsteps have marked these lands for generations. Now I am using some resources from the United Church of Canada. It's called Being a Good Neighbor Indigenous Day of Prayer 2021. And that's the same day, June 21st. These prayers are by Reed Sherman. So let us pray. Oh God, we come together as a human family, blessed to be alive, blessed to be on this land, blessed to have neighbors as diverse as your creation. You surround us with air we breathe, water we drink, all manner of living plants and animals that delight us and sustain us. Thank you, Creator, for all you provide. We take a moment in silence to ponder the blessings you give us of family, friends, places to call home, the food we eat, the web of life in which we with all creatures live, move and have our being. Hear us as we give thanks. Oh God, we thank you for Indigenous neighbours and friends this day, and yet we lament too. We lament that historic and contemporary racism continues to mar our relationships. We lament the Church's role as beneficiaries of an economic and governance system that privileges settler peoples at the expense of the First Peoples of this land. We lament apathy in the face of need for change, change that recognizes the sovereignty of the First Peoples and recognizes at long last, in ways that make a difference, the sacredness of the land and the need for all of us to walk humbly upon it. O oh God, for the witness of strength, caring and love of Indigenous peoples and for the struggle for what is just and right, open our hearts this day. Encourage us to listen more, speak less, participate in the movements for change that will bring us together in good and respectful ways. Encourage us to make friends, get to know someone's story and share our stories too, without fear. For in Christ we know we are all kin, relatives with you and with each other, and with all living and non-living things. Hear us now as we pray for those hurting and in pain in all our communities. For anyone worn down by systemic racism, including by government and the church, that white people and those with power will change their thinking 
and how they live so justice will finally come. For anyone suffering the injustice of racial profiling, ending up involved with the law and incarcerated in prisons at a higher rate than other populations, that policing will change so justice will finally come. For survivors of residential schools and their families that continue to live with that legacy, that justice will finally come. For people living on reserves with shortages of funds for decent housing, water, water treatment, schools, and other community infrastructure, that justice will finally come for Indigenous neighbours living in urban areas, facing the challenges of prejudice and discrimination, for those living with PTSD and addiction, that justice will finally come. For Indigenous women and girls facing the two evils of racism and sexism, that their lives and bodies will be respected as sacred, that justice might finally come. For those Indigenous women and girls who are among the thousands of murdered and missing, for them and their families, our lament at the shame of what has happened and our pledge to advocate for their safety, that justice will finally come. For the air that all might breathe it clean and free, that justice might finally come. All this, as well as the prayers of our hearts, O oh God, we lift up to you. Hear our celebrations as we claim anew our kinship with you and with all our relations. Hear our laments and grow our hearts full of compassion for self and other as we leave this place to be a better friend and neighbor to all. We pray in the name of Creator, who is mother and father of us all. We pray as well in the spirit of Christ, whose words continue to guide our lives today. Amen. And a few announcements for today. We have one more drive-in service uh, scheduled for June the 27th. Please check your constant contact at about eight o'clock that morning um, to see if it's a go because it is weather dependent. This year is St. Paul's 125th anniversary we are still fundraising for the painting that was just completed of the interior of the sanctuary. It's amazing. There is an anniversary committee now to plan what we want to do to celebrate. We are on hold until our August council meeting as hopefully then we'll have a better idea of what could be allowed and safe with regard to the pandemic. There is a celebratory service on the 10th of October which is Thanksgiving Sunday, and Bishop Larry will be with us that day. As the weather cooperates, you are welcome to come to St. Paul's grounds to walk, to pray, to have a coffee or lunch with a friend. We just ask that you abide by all AHS guidelines. God bless you and grant you a safe and healthy week. <music>